Hey guys and welcome back to another episode of Mountain Blade 2 Bannerlord. Hope you're all doing well, hope you've had a lovely week and a nice weekend. Um, so, starting off where we left off. In the last episode we just joined the Batanian Kingdom. We'd finally sworn our sword and our life to King Caladog and now we are a part of their kingdom. But we have no territory and we have no family. So those are two things that we're going to hopefully correct today. Um, we did join in on one of the major battles with the army, um, but we lost quite a decent chunk of our forces, so we had to back off, um, come to one of the local towns, do a bit of recruitment, and uh, build it back up to what we once were. Um, but we're going to be doing a lot more of that, so we're going to be trying to keep our numbers roughly the same. Once we get some territory, we'll be able to have an, a force of hopefully around 100 men, as opposed to what we've currently got, which is about 60. So hopefully by the end of today, we'll have a lot more men in our party, a little bit of land and some more income. But we're going to have to travel down to the Empire first, pick up some of our horsemen that we're missing, and then get back on the road with the army and hopefully win this war against Sturgia. Um, but that is the goal for today. So we're going to head straight off. We're going to grab our guys and we're going to head into the Imperial lands. We're all a bit healed up now, so we're okay. Um, luckily, we didn't lose would have been a lot worse if we had but we um we did suffer some pretty major losses at the hands of the sturgeons i'm down to 32 men i've got 12 injured so it's not as bad as it seems but we're not doing great um so yeah if we're gonna head off to some of the local villages try and pick up some of our men hopefully get a few more equites together that's yeah that doesn't matter we'll go to vithea we'll just pick up what men we can. So, Louis Chan has created an army, which is good. Two Vigglers, I'm not going to take the swordsman. We do have 32 grand, so we're not looking too bad in terms of money, which is good. It just says he's going to a point. Blandia is now at war with us as well. That might be a big problem. Let's just focus on getting our money together. Make peace with Sturgia. Our kingdom will pay 2,100 tribute a day. That might affect me a little bit. I think we're only paying like 20. No, we're paying 40 dinars a day tribute. And we're only receiving 11. So yeah, as a kingdom, we're not doing overly great. But hopefully... We can spin that around. I guess we better put in our vote. So, everyone's saying yes. There's no point in me saying no. And get an increase in relationship. Spend 20 influence, I guess. Support that. We get a tiny little relationship boost, which is what we want to do. And we also get that issue resolved quicker. And now we can focus on attacking Volandia, who will hopefully beat. I'm up to 52 men. I should really just start taking anyone, but I do still want to keep to try and have cavalry only. I'm getting a lot of Vigglers. Which is good. We might come across some Volandians down here. We're still quite low in number. We've got to be careful. Try and keep an eye out for quests if we can, because I guess anything for these villages needs help with brigands. That we can get done pretty quickly. I would have hoped we could anyway. Doesn't actually seem that there are any around. Alright, up to 60 men. Let's head to Lycia. Hopefully get a couple more. There's none there. Head back over this way. See if there's any looters in the area. There's three. They've surrendered. We've got eight upgrades to be given. Which means we must have war horses, but we need more. So we do need to start taking down some of the uh, caravans. Winning some war horses. I think that will be the easiest way of doing it. Or we can go to these little villages 
and hopefully pick up some Imperial charges for quite cheap pricing. Those two guys there. Two, that's not awful. We're going to need a hell of a lot more. Looters to appear. I think I made a mistake going after them. Unless we can grab these two. We have. Right, we'll take these guys down nice and quick. Missing formation. So now we've got four formations. Everybody just charged. Fast about doing this the right way. Oh, let's just send one guy. Okay, not what I meant. Literally everybody. Full Sarge up. Hit your own commands. Hopefully you go into a skirmish. It's a good sword. I like it. charge. Killed a couple of them. Been round. Lovely. Try and avoid hitting my men there. Not too worried about my men getting upgrades. I kind of just want to get this over and done with. Got bigger missions to get on with. Really? Who have I missed? Get one of my own men. Come on, come on. Uh, out of all of those javelins, I managed to hit one. I'll take it. Nine upgrades. Ah, oh, I've got eight out of ten guys ready to upgrade to Imperial Heavies, but we don't have the horses. That is a shame. Need a lot more horses. Two, three, right, that is done. So hopefully now if we go to Thraktor A, we maybe pick up. I don't think it changed, or if it did, I think it may have unlocked one new slot, which still better than nothing. Right, if we just head into Ortizia, see if we can get some horses. We'll sell off the stuff we've got um, on that, actually. We'll donate the armor. It's not much, but it's something. Sell off those prisoners. Take the recruits, although there aren't really any. There's no war horses. That is a shame. Oh. Keep that. We have got some wool, oil, and sheep we can get rid of. And we'll take let's take all of those grapes then. We'll take a few more there. Keep our food up. Nice and healthy. Right. Cool, cool, cool. We do need horses though. Let's go to Lagata, see if we've got any there. There are Three villages there that we could get horses from. So if not, we'll have to go over that way. Hopefully we don't need to. One archer there. We've still got ten recruits. Forest people and the Batanians. Cool. They've joined us. That's a good sign. Great. We've got one war horse, one step horse. I'm just going to take it because we just need horses. And then we'll head over to these villages. We've still got a lot of money, so we're not doing... Too bad in that front. I don't really want to take down Valandian caravans because that's going to start affecting my relationship with Valandian nobles. And that will be a problem in the future. Scott and Broder have joined us, but um, yeah, no, I'll happily join in the sieges. Defences. We need to go and defend a castle. Once we've been to these villages. Hoping this won't cost us too much. 
long as we as long as we continue to get the right horses. The cheapest ones. Which I'm pretty sure are Imperial Chargers. Or possibly one of the um Who's 8 variants. But I'm not 100%. Right, 1, 2, 3, 4. And we should hopefully have one spare. One, two. I don't know. Quickly go here, see if there are any more that we can grab now. There are not. That's fine. Right, let's head off. We've got 65 men. So we're not doing awful on that front. We'll head into Batania. Our caravan. We've got two armies currently in Vlandia. I don't know what use they're going to be. So we're just going to go straight over to that castle and see what we can do there. And hopefully, whilst we're in this war, we'll um, get some relation bonuses with the other people in Batania. Then we can look at starting to marry and have a family. There's 840 men. I don't think there's really much we can do about that castle. But we head over to Louis Chan. Louis Chan. Caladog's made an army. 404 men. Nine men. We may as well join it. Do I need to do anything here? So Melodia has task revenue farming. Ugh, I don't really want to do that. Turn to the army. Aldog has 221 men. Might we be better with him? I don't know. But we are moving very slowly. It's never good. But we are making good money. That is good. Payment to mercenaries. Another army down there. We have three armies up at the moment. It's not, not a great sign. We're just recruiting at the moment. 413. If that army gets bigger than ours, I'm going to go and join that one instead. I don't know if we're actually going to last much longer anyway. Here we go. Got some excitement after all. plan is to try and hold the narrow pass. I mean where they are. Um, well, if I get to pick where I'm assigned, I'll go Cav. There's only 14 of them, though. Maybe... Wait, really? I only got 14 horsemen. That can't be right. I might have to change my settings. I think I might be on the low battle size settings. Because, I mean, my cavalry alone has got to be more than that, unless that's all mine. No, it's not. Never mind. Yeah, I've only got five guys. Alright, I'll have to change my settings after this, I think. Cavalry stay on me. the right flank. Uh, no, you're right. You got that. I trust you. See if we can <laughs> fail that entirely. Yeah, that's what I meant. Say. Completely bugger it up. Of course. Cool. 
That's it. Just focus on the cab. Charge for now. Try and run them down if you can. Doing. Right, on me again. Filling them out quite nicely, so let's pull off. Archers seem to be doing a good job. over here if any of them can survive I don't really want them in the middle which is where I've led them stupidly Riders! down to eight so I think I just lost four <laughs> oops we are definitely winning Horse, the enemy! Die, dog! He's just died. Pretty important. Oh, no. I am actually quite low on health, so I need to be careful. Oh, How much cab have we got? Still got the eight. Right, I'm going to bring you back because I think the cavalry is mostly my men. I don't really want to lose them. And coming, let's just back up a little bit. Cavalry should stay on the hill. We've got eight. Still alive, the bastard. He's gonna get on the other horse. There we go. being dismounted. Right. Cavalry's gone for ours, that's why. Keep trying to cut them down. One by one. I'm definitely going to have to do more recruitment after this battle. Cavalry, follow me. I'm going down here. Oh, the one guy who got here died. Okay, they're buggering off. I actually survived. Cavalry, pull back. You did your job. Now get out of there. Thank you for the assist. Slower horse. Oh, yeah, they're getting slaughtered. Bollocks, I shouldn't have done it. I knew I shouldn't have done it. Right, well, that should be us winning anyway. Speed it up. There we go. That's what we like to see. That all that green. Jesus, I lost 15 men.
one archer, three equites, two recruits, five vigglers. Okay, so as long as the bulk of that was vigglers, that's all right. 32 prisoners, we'll take what we can, set them off. Don't upgrade them. And the Encorsa, lovely. Yeah, we lost a huge chunk of our force there, so let's leave this army. Get out of here. Down to 43 men, six injured, only six injured. We'll go back into the Imperial lands. We'll sell off all this stuff, get rid of our prisoners. Check this upgrade quickly, which is tactics. That might help. Troops deal 10% more damage in snow and forest. Troops deal 5% more damage in open ground, like plain steps and deserts. Now we're going to be fighting mostly in forests. And probably snow against Sturgia, so we'll go with that one. I do have a focus point, but we'll come back to that in a bit. Main thing is I want to get down here in this area. No men, but we have got a task. I will take that task. If I can help these castle villages in any way, shape or form, I will do it because it just means that every time I come back, I might be able to just pick up maybe one extra recruit from it. And over time, we'll get to a point where we can pick up a lot of them. It will help. But on the bright side, we can pick up a lot of archers, which will be very, very helpful. Let's just sell all of that off. I should have donated it all. Ah, that's fine. That much. Get rid of those prisoners. Made a decent bit of money. We head up to these villages here. Head to Jaya. Vigla Vigla. Go to Vithaya and then go Sagos. Right, we've got 62 men, but obviously eight of those are. Um, volunteers, or not volunteers, but villagers. Two, three. As long as every time that we come down here, we can pick up a hand. Oh, wait, I didn't even realize there's a mission there. Let's get that quickly. Um, and we actually could, got one more guy as well. Fair needs tools. Now we can definitely do that very, relatively quickly, I imagine. Now we have any on us. Have a quick check how many we need. We need seven. Hopefully we can do that. We're going to engage these 30 guys here because we've just remember we got the volunteers. So if we can get them done, we can just send troops. Hopefully we lost one guy. Archer, happy with that. It's over and done with nice and quick. Five upgrades. Hero recruit. Vigler, we didn't upgrade volunteers. But we did get some cataphracts, which would be good. Uh, so yeah, head down to Lagata as quick as we can. Not very quick. Okay, we've got some upgrades here. We've got medicine for Torah, which is excellent. Medicine recovery chance applies to enemies too. Increases your max health by five. Decrease wounded party speed penalty. Increase health of every mount in your party. Okay, we'll go for that because it decreases the um, speed penalty. That's quite handy. Scouting, 2% movement time during day. Uh, no, we'll go for 5%. It's more speed overall, so I'm happy with that. Quick draw, shield breaker, quick draw, throwing. Lovely. Companion's getting a few upgrades. We could always pick up another companion. There's no reason why not. It'll have to be a good warrior, I think, or a good engineer. It really doesn't matter. Um, but we won't do it just yet. What did I come here for? I came here for tool, tools. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Lovely. If we can, we'll engage some looters. I will fight this one on the ground, because what I want to do is send in just infantry. Oh, bollocks. Get them going. Hold on one second. Right. 
Lovely stuff. Where are they? It's only 14. I won't kill any of them myself. We'll just let the men do the, the, uh, the work. The volunteers at the front, which is good for the borrowed troops. Lovely stuff. Should be a couple of them upgraded at least. Empire peasants don't really need them. Two. Not awful. The quicker we get those guys upgraded to uh, cavalry easier this will be. There are 30 of them there. Let's do them too. We'll just send troops for this one, but we will fight it. Might have to put an input myself. Kill them all. They are slightly outnumbered. We'll send the Bruce Larry. That might, that might weave off enough of them that they can help. So split them up a bit there, that might help some more. I guess it should be relatively even now, more so than it was before maybe. A little bit of a hit there, a little bit of a nudge. Done it there, but let's try and get more. Nasty looking sword, this nasty bit of kit. Where's the last guy? I'll screw him. We'll leave him. Lovely stuff. Four upgrades one, two, three, four. So we've only got two of those guys left. Hopefully we can get that done nice and quick. Those. Let's go into Lagata quick. Let's see if we can grab some horses. We can't, but we... Wrong thing. Nope, right thing. Get rid of that. Donate that. See if that gets us. This is one. So there's only one guy left. So we can somehow pick up some more gear. And then hopefully we can get that done. Caravans, but I don't really want to attack them. Those guys. Don't know why I went into that. Doesn't help me. So we should be supporting Batania more than we currently are, but because we just don't have the numbers, or to be fair, we don't actually have the manpower. Our men aren't yet high enough tier to Infantry. really help. Engage! Uh, yeah, you do your thing Stop again. Shooting. Nope, not Shoot that. Out, that. You're on command. Throwing points if we can. Properly ragdoll in there, aren't they? Really ragdolling today. Come on, guys, let's get him. Lovely. That's one guy. Could be getting these peasants with us, but doesn't matter. We won't do that. Send the troops back. Take the stuff. Beautiful. So now hopefully if we go to Veron, we might be able to pick up one or two more guys. Maybe. Doesn't look like it, but I'm sure it still makes a difference. Right, if we head down to Ortizia, see if we can pick up some more guys. 
got another upgrade here for somebody, for me actually, riding. Decreases accuracy penalty by 15% while mounted. Decreases accuracy penalty for mounted ranged troops. Increases mounts top speed by 5. Increases your party speed. No, oh, that could be really handy. They could both be really handy to be fair. I like speed. Especially party speed. That's going to be quite helpful in the future especially. But that would be 15% is quite significant for our... Oh, we'll go for that. I suppose it makes a bigger difference in a longer run, especially if we're going to have a lot more horse archers in the future. At least they'll be 15% more accurate, which is quite a big amount. Groups will grab who and what we can, see if we have got any horses. We've got two. We may as well sell the swords. And what little armor we have. Into the party. Requires, oh, requires mounts. Oops. Did I get rid of my other special horse? I think I did. Um, let's grab all 19. Didn't realize that we'd actually run out of mounts. There we go. Still got 10 left, and we've got a lot more cavalry with us now. Good. Got these four villages here we can run into and just see if we've got any figures for us. If we can actually field 120 men altogether. Nearly 130. We've got potential. There's a Vigler. No quests in the area, though. Marden, regular infantry, we don't want the infantrymen. We will now head back into Britannia. We've got 65 men. Head to go Lerin. Lovely. 68. We'll head to Verin as we're going this way anyway. I suppose we should start picking up Britannians as well. We can still transfer them into. Um, Mounted skirmishes, which obviously are cavalry with the javelins, so they're pretty useful. We could start getting some highborn youths, but let's stick with the cavalry. Try and get to 80 men if we can. That would be helpful. Woodrunner. That is the right one, isn't it? Yep, Woodrunner and then Skirmisher. What we want. Uh, yep, head to Lanok N. Nothing. We are in a war, so it makes sense that there won't be much available. We're getting good numbers here. We're at 81 men. Let's see if we can join Rath's army. It's 900 men. Lovely stuff. Join that army there. Travelling to Saga. Okay, so we're going to go and besiege the main town. In Valandia, this should be interesting. I feel we've got another upgrade here. Stewardship. Giving hands. Discarded weapons can be donated to troops for increased experience. Increased party round by four if number of mounts is greater than non-cavalry troop. I mean... There is a morale 57. We're not re because we're going to have cavalry, we've got quite high tier units anyway. They're not really going to be retreating. I think being able to upgrade them quicker would be a better option. So we'll go with that. We've got a good tracking level as well. It gives us a really clear indication of what kind of numbers are going through. Not 100% accurate there, is it? It's saying 76. Oh, now we've got to go and defend Druin Moor Castle now. No exciting sieges today. If I had more relations with more of the nobles of Britannia, then it could be that we get our first town gifted to us. But we need to. Well, we need to befriend Kaladog, really. He's the top guy. 
said you may need help. Terms of agreement. I will take the quest. I know I said I wouldn't do it earlier, but I will do that now. Only got three places to go to, so we'll just go and fight this battle. Join in with them. 1600 against 400. They don't stand much of a chance, and then we'll quickly break off and do this quest for Melodia. I will take control of Cav again. Oh yeah. They're not going to stand a chance. Horses just charge straight away. They're going to get annihilated. I will have a play around with the settings after this episode and hopefully we'll get that back to a um, full scale battle. Crossbowmen here. If we can maybe get a cavalryman. It was a close miss, I think. Omar's down, but hopefully he's alive. He is alive. Terrain's also down, but he's alive. That's all that matters. They're breathing. Lovely stuff. Ah, oh, bollock. Downed by the crossbowmen. I think I don't die easy. <laughs> right, let's speed this up. I think we've pretty much won it. I've only lost two men. Fortunately, I got injured again, which isn't the best. But got to stop just charging against arches and things. It's my own mistake. Foolishness. I don't think we met properly. My name is Terrain. Hey, there we go. Boosted our relationship with them. We'll let you go. Always good to boost relationships with nobles, as we learned from our last series. Never good to go around murdering people. Saddle horse, good armor there. We will leave. We've done our job. We only lost two men, so we'll go to Bogbeth first. And they're actually quite linear, so that's, that's quite nice. Collect revenue. It's a slow process. It's a very slow process. As your men were collecting the tax, the headman shouted out to you across the fields that there had been an outbreak of the flux in the village. We warned you for your own good to stay away. Tell your men that the headman is lying and go ahead to collect revenue. Tell your men to be careful and to touch nothing in a house where anyone has been sick. Tell the villagers that in light of their hardship they are forgiven what they owe. We'll go for the middle option, I think. Increased our relationship. Hopefully, we don't lose any men. We didn't. It seemed to go okay. Cool. The middling option was probably the best one there. Great revenue. You can imagine how exciting this is just uh, collecting other people's tax. Oh, idiot. I thought it was automatically sped up. The landlord says that his retainers, who help keep order in the village, have gone unpaid and are starting to get mutinous. He says that if you can't help him out with a small sum of money to pay them while you collect the revenues from the rest of the village, he can't guarantee that things will go peacefully. Uh, we will pay out of our own pocket, because I'm not too fussed. We've got a decent amount of money. Let's just get this done without offending anybody. The melody is actually going past us right now. Kind of annoying that he is, because I've got to go up here. Collect these revenues and let's speed it up this time because stupid not. When you enter the village commons, you find a crowd of villagers have gathered to resist you. They call 
the rents and taxes owed unlawful and refuse to pay them at all. They pelt your men with rotten vegetables. All your men to break up the crowd by force, bargain with a group, agreeing to forgive the debts of the poorest of villagers, tell the villagers that they made their point and that you are leaving. Bargain with the group. At least that way, I haven't pissed off too many people. What's your task, my friend? Let's see what he's got for us. Campaigning season has taken a high ho toll on horses and on men. Horses specifically, we need six, and they have to be staying in warm months. That's actually quite easy. They're quite easy to get hold of. And there's Melody, so let's finish off this one. That task you gave me. Working on it. Yes, here is your share. Did I do them all? Yeah, I did do them all, didn't I? That's seven. Lovely. Lovely stuff. Um, and then we'll quickly go grab these Britannian war mounts. We need six. That's the wrong thing, but I will pick up those men. Do that every time. So we've got two. Okay, yeah, they are a little bit more expensive than Imperial. Not too much more expensive. We only have 31,000. So we just need two more. That's done. Hopefully Seonon has some. What's this got that upgrade guy there. Lovely stuff. We've got some prisoners to sell. I forgot about that. We get rid of them. Trade. Uh, damn it. Okay, that's annoying. I will sell off some of our stuff though. Especially the armor. 1,800. So we'll make some money back. And we'll try and get these last two horses somewhere. Or I accidentally upgrade some men and lose them. Never a good idea. Trade. Jesus. I'm going to struggle to find them, I think. Hello, dog's here. I wonder if he's got a hidden task. He does not. Alright, come on. Let's get these last horses. They've got to be somewhere. Dunglanis. Maybe. We'll just head back to the villages once they've restocked. We're also going to have to find the guy. It should be the bigger problem. Oh, no. He's right there. He's got a big army, so that's handy. There we go. Last two. Lovely stuff. People there. Oh, I wonder. 41. Never mind. Never mind. A little bit on the old side. Talk to army leader. That task you gave me. Here are your horses. And he pays us six and a half thousand. So I think we've made money there easily. Which is good news. Right, let's head to Carban Seth. So we've got a lot to do. So we've managed to get our numbers up to 80. We're starting to look at having some slightly better men. We've got a lot of equities. Imperial archer there. Veteran. Should not have any palatine archers. Nope. Good. Um, yeah, no, it's looking good. It's looking good. We've got 11 Batanian volunteers. Don't actually have that many recruits. Looking pretty strong. Um, hopefully we'll get our men up to 100. But we'll start joining these armies a lot more. Hopefully we'll get to some... Oh, well, actually saying that, we can form an army ourselves. But we don't own enough influence. But we could, if we gathered just one or two people, we might be able to Handle the influence cost. How much do we earn a day? No, we. Oh shit, we're losing. <laughs> we're losing influence per day. Okay, that's not good. Um, we just have to fight a lot of battles, I guess. But we could form our own little army and very quickly try and take some land from Valandia. So that might be uh, one of our options for the next episode. We'll try and do that. But we'll also we'll keep running these little tasks for all the nobles in Britannia. See if we can get on the good side of any of their families and then hopefully we'll get ourselves married and start a little family a little dynasty for ourselves and also get a help, very helpful companion as long as we pick the right person anyway uh, but that will be the goal so we've done okay we've um, fought a couple of battles destroyed a few Valandians, and we've uh, got some of our men back so 
so it's looking okay. Still do need to fight a little bit better. I need to stop being so stupid in battle and getting myself wounded. Probably speed this up. I don't hopefully we won't have to go into the Empire many more times. I think if we get ourselves to a hundred before we join an army next time. Um, get ourselves to a hundred men, then we shouldn't find ourselves retreating to recruit very often. At least I'm hoping so. Or we will just have to have a look at rechanging our tactics of uh, horses only, just as something a little bit more feasible. But we'll see what happens, see how it goes. Otherwise, guys, I hope you've enjoyed the episode so far. Sorry I've been a bit inactive, and I say every bloody episode, but I am trying to get back into the swing of it. Um, But the only time I really get now to record episodes is on the weekends. And that's when I'm not uh, carrying out other work. So I will try and keep on top of it as much as I can. Um, I really hope you guys are enjoying it. I really do. I will try and get this series up and running a little bit better with maybe some other series as well. But otherwise, I hope you guys have enjoyed the episode. I will see you in the next one. Have a good one. Goodbye.